Welcome back to another episode of the K-Dog and Fish Show. I am Fish. K-Dog. On this episode, we're trying out a brand new concept called the Thursday Threesome. You guys provided topic ideas. We put them in there. We have three minutes to discuss three different topics and have fun doing it. Let's dive into the K-Dog and Fish Bowl. We're back. So this is a brand new idea. You get a hundred percent credit for the big salad on this one. One hundred percent. All your idea. K Dog was like, let's do a show called the Thursday Threesome. Uh, you guys, we put it out on Instagram that you provided us with just random topics. It could be anything, Funko related, mm -hmm. pop culture, movies, food, music, sports, whatever. We put those topics that were submitted into the bowl. We mm -hmm. printed them off, cut them up in there. And then we are going to pick a topic. We have three minutes to discuss this topic. It's mm -hmm. all off the cuff because we have no idea what we're going to pull. Right. And then we'll do that for three topics, a.k.a. the Thursday threesome. Let's do it. All right. So you're going to start the timer. If you we guys should... can see that on the can or not. <laughs> you go, you might I'm not gonna, be able to see it. I'm going to put up the timer for them to see here. Gotcha. So we will, when we should probably pull the topic, right. Then hit the timer. Sure. Or read what it is. Yeah. That makes sense. And then hit the timer. And then hit the timer. Boom. All right, let's go. I'll put the timer right here. So I can okay. just go boop. And I'll reach the first one. Do it. Okay. I'm in. Go. All right. Yeah. It's not quite full because it's our first week. Soon it'll be overflowing. Well, it's funny how much all those ideas cut up into little pieces of paper. Don't yeah. take up a ton of <laughs> but we're going to keep all the ones yeah. submitted. Every single one we get, we'll just we'll keep, just filling. keep it. Yeah. yeah. And then if we don't use that topic, it'll stay in the bowl. Yeah. And then just we'll keep doing that each week. We'll ask for new topics. I like it. So this yeah. first topic yeah. is, was by, e, it's either Ian underscore 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 yeah. or uh, Lan. I don't know. I just, I was. It was an Instagram handle. We'll pop I it was, up on the screen. I was guessing. And the topic is, are you ready with the timer? Sure. It is best Will Ferrell character. Okay. Now, this was actually, we start the timer. I haven't started yet. All right, ready? Got and it. go. Boom. So we actually discussed this topic on a podcast. We did, actually, where a few we weeks ago. ranked the best Will Ferrell characters. So yeah. for three minutes, we get to talk about it a little bit more. Right. I like it. My favorites, of course. Yeah. Frank the Tank. Yeah. Um, uh, Step Brothers, yeah. Brendan, Brendan, yeah, and Brendan Huff. I I can't. How could I not pick as my number one favorite, Ron Burgundy from Anchorman? It's hard not to 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 put Burgundy as number one. So for your yeah. best characters, Will Ferrell characters, what's your now there? List? Is, what, what's the best? So we have to name one. Yeah, I know? guess we have to name one, and we have three minutes to discuss. Because I also really loved him in Daddy's Home. Really That's did. true. I also yeah. really am one of the like. There's 13 of us in North America that enjoyed Eurovision. So no, it's pretty good. It's I loved it's pretty it. Funny. I loved every second of it. I also loved him in Blades of Glory. Oh, that's true. So it's really hard to to really put wow. number one up there. Yeah, you know, everyone's gonna say Burgundy. I can't go Burgundy though. Okay, what are you? I going? can't go Burgundy. I think I might go. I can't remember what I said on the podcast. I can't remember. You were really torn. I was torn. I think that you ch overall you chose uh, from Daddy's Home. Daddy's Home? Did I say Daddy's I Home? I think you did. It's pretty good. Daddy's Home was pretty good. But now even on the earlier podcast, we started talking about old school. Mm -hmm. And now I'm leaning towards Frank the Tank. Frank the Tank is an amazing character. I think I'm going to go with Frank the Tank. I have to, as I said, what my favorites were. If I had to say the, the best... I can't, I quote it so much. Yeah. Uh, I don't see how I can't say that Anchorman Ron Burgundy is my favorite or the best Will Ferrell character. Um, Milk was a bad choice. Yeah. I'm in a glass case of emotion. The mustache, the... Yeah, you can't. I mean, I, 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 I definitely... And you were the biggest Anchorman fan. I yeah. Know. So, all right. So That's, we still have... 48 seconds left, which is amazing. Three minutes. So let's say the worst Will Ferrell character. Well, I was going to say, which one of Will Ferrell's movies would you most want to see a sequel to? Oh, okay. Different. Yeah. Okay. Just just throw it out there because well, we have 30 seconds left. I think it'd be old school. I want to see yeah. what Frank the Tank is up to. Okay. 
that like 20 years later. Old school? Okay. Yeah. I want I want a Step Brothers sequel. Oh, okay. I changed yeah. my vote. Yeah. The two brothers are <laughs> two brothers are married and they, some kind of shenanigans are going to happen. I don't know what it is. And but... each of them has like a brother-in-law something. or something. I don't know what it is, but it's That would work out. Well. I think I think that movie is uh, uh, writes itself. All right. Step Brothers 2, we need to see it. Best Will Ferrell Will Ferrell character for me, Anchorman Ron Burgundy. Frank the Tank. Boom. Done. Hit it. Time is up. Let's pick a new topic. All right. I don't want to hit the mic. Three oh. minutes. Oh, I grabbed two. All right. This comes from Eric Nisbet. Eric Nisbet. What is his topic? Uh, getting a cab in Bracebridge. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. Hit the timer. There we go. Start. I got it. I got timer. it twice. All right. So, uh, getting a cab in Bracebridge. If you have watched the K-Dog and Fish after dark or k dog and fish are um are auctions garage yeah sales. the live yeah. virtual live garage sales we do them every two weeks on instagram live and they go late yeah so yeah. we live in a small town in ontario known as bracebridge the bigger area being muskoka about right. two hours north of toronto and because this town has what 14 16 000 people right. and we're in a lockdown and we're in a lockdown. Yeah, yeah. Getting a cab. A lot of the cab companies have gone belly up. Yeah. There's literally one cab company in town. And, and there's, there's no Uber. Car. There's no Uber. There's yeah. no Uber. You know? So just in a, in the most PC way, yeah. how do you describe getting a cab in Bracebridge after we're done a live virtual garage show? Comical. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. So it is... And, and, and it's amazing because the one cab driver, who now we're just basically becoming friends because he drives us home all the time. Every two weeks on Friday, yeah. It's a Cheech and Chong episode <laughs> when the minute you step into the van, first of all. If you catch our drift. If you catch my drift. <laughs> second of all, we're not obeying any speed limits whatsoever. <laughs> it's just like, let's go. Uh, this week was hilarious because now what we do is we're calling at like 7 o'clock. We made the mistake yeah. of asking for a cab after we were done. Yeah, don't do that. Which when there's only one cab in yeah. an entire area, right? Bad choice. So we start now. We call it like seven o'clock, and we say, "Okay, we're gonna be done at midnight. Pick us up." So what happened this week was I called in from my phone saying, "Hey, we're gonna be done." The guy was like, "Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'll make sure there's a car ready around that time, around yeah. midnight for you. No problem." So around eleven thirty, we're still doing the show. I went to call and just tell him, hey, we're on pace to be done at midnight. But I called from your phone because my phone was doing the show. Correct. Was being the camera. So I called. The guy wrote down my number and my name, but I was calling from your phone. So he was like, yeah, yeah we don't have a car. We're not going to have a car for two hours. I'm like, what do you mean you're going to have a car for two hours? <laughs> That's why we called at 7 o'clock. Not realizing <laughs> different numbers. So at the end of the day, I was like, okay, we'll send it as soon as you get there. And we're like, what the hell are we going to do? Well, I said, well, let's keep auctioning until 3 in the morning. And then the guy called back and said, no, I do have a car for you. And realized it was the wrong phone. So, anyways, gotcha. it's always a shenanigan trying to get a cab in Bracebridge, especially That's, uh, in a lockdown. A yeah. great topic. Uh, yeah. Eric Nisbet, thank you for providing that. Yeah. I think, yeah, it's really tough. I wish we could get Uber yeah. in this area, but it'll probably never happen. Well, the funnier part about it, too, is we drop Fish off first. Fish lives 2 minutes and 7 seconds from the from the store from the studio studio i live 15 minutes the other direction so i'm like literally my life in my own hands for 15 minutes while fish is cracking a ginger ale and watching big sky <laughs> topic is done hit the timer all right we have one more i'm gonna give you the honors again you pick okay. it i'll do it i'll do it get in there gotta get some more submissions into again. the fish bowl all right. Actually, probably after the auctions, you don't watch uh, Big Sky. You watch uh, The League. I, I've been, been binging The League. The League. Yeah, on Disney+. Plus. Oh, Alex McDonald. Oh, uh, what's Alex McDonald's topic? Will Brady win again? Is that the topic? Tom Brady. Will Tom Brady win again? Yeah, I All just right. Put, I just, when I typed this out, I just put Brady. I figured, oh, we, I figured we knew. We get who that we, was. We got who that was. It's Jeff Brady on the PGA Tour. <laughs> Imagine he had a brother like Brent Gretzky. Yeah, Brent we make jokes about <laughs> Brent Gretzky. All right, ready? Nothing, Start. Nothing, uh, nothing better with a little football. A little NFL for you. Start that timer. Boom. Oh, boom. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Got to hit it twice. Tom Brady. Uh, 
we were very concerned when he left. We're not Patriots fans by any means, no. but we're NFL fans. So yeah. we were very concerned when he left the Patriots after 20 seasons yeah. and five Super Bowls right. to go to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It was weird. I, it was extremely weird. But when you actually dove into it, the Buccaneers had a pretty decent team. Okay. But they right. added a lot they of added elements added a lot afterwards. after getting Brady. Yeah, but they already had Evans. They already had Evans. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. But, I mean, yeah. we are going to have a full-on uh, K Dog and Fish uh, football show come this fall. Yeah. So it's great to have this one topic in the fish bowl to no, discuss. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, do we think? I mean, I didn't think going in as the five seed, if memory serves, yeah, into that set of playoffs that they would win. Yeah. Even though, because the the record during the season wasn't insane. Yeah. But they just had a wicked defense. Yeah. They got picked up a lot of pieces. Yeah. And then, yeah, they went to that Super Bowl. Uh, Gronk played well in that Super Bowl, even though he hadn't been playing insane yep. football coming out of retirement. Yeah. Can Tom Brady win another? That's the question, yep. right? Yeah. Will he win another Super Bowl? Yeah. There's. He's saying he can play until he's 45. Uh, that's another two seasons. Yeah. I think that that's possible will they win back to back that's tough to say i think and honestly i think their best chance to win it is this year everyone's coming back everyone's coming back that's true brady's got a full year gelling i think you know when you think about the playoffs they had last year they kind of had the perfect mix of what was going on they mm -hmm. played washington first then they played the saints wasn't it yes and then the packers and then the Packers. And then the Packers. And the Saints were beat up. The Packers were just not playing great, right? I mean, they kind of... And then they got to, to Kansas City, whose the, their offensive Shit. line yeah. was garbage, right? Yeah. So they had a they had a, they had had the perfect recipe getting them to the Super Bowl. Yeah. But this year, with everybody coming back and mm -hmm. having a full year, I think this is the year. If they're going to do it, they're going to do it this year. But... Kansas City loaded up their offensive line. They knew where the problem was and yeah. they fixed it. I've yeah. heard a lot of sports radio talk about that. Yeah. So I would like, I think my early, early, early prediction yeah. is we might see Tampa Bay, Kansas City part two. Mm -hmm. And I think Kansas City actually has the upper hand. I could see that happening too. But I think the Bucks are going to take it this year. So if Brady is going to win another one before he retires, as per Alex McDonald's question... This year. It'll be this coming season. This year. So that'll be interesting to see. The clock is about to expire. Could Tom Brady win another championship? Yes. Stop that clock. It is Tom Brady. All right. So that is the Thursday threesome. Three topics completely random. We have to go off the cuff and discuss it for three straight minutes. The Thursday threesome. I think this is an insanely genius man over here for coming up with this concept. And thank you guys for watching. Every week on Instagram, probably on Tuesday, mm -hmm. we will put up a submission thing. That's how you submit your yeah. ideas. It should be one day a week. One day a week. Yeah. So yeah. on Tuesdays, because we have to record Wednesday and post it on Thursday. Yeah. I'm not a math magician, but Thursday threesome should probably air on Thursday. Eh, probably. So uh, we'll submit every time on Tuesday. We'll pick a thing on Instagram stories to submit your topic ideas. If you're not on Instagram, please send us uh, by email, mm -hmm. kdogandfish at gmail.com. Put submissions in the comments of this post. Yeah, this post. Put it on yeah. Facebook. Do whatever. Whatever. Yeah, the Googler. Do it on the Googler. <laughs> my, my face. My face. Friendster. Submit your ideas for the Thursday threesome. It could be topics about literally anything. Yeah. We'll put them in the bowl and discuss them for three minutes. It's a great show. I'm actually yeah. really excited. We're a couple big dumb animals. We could talk for three minutes about anything. Pretty, And we're proving that with this show. Honestly, whatever. So make sure to follow us at K-Dog and Fish on all social media. For all things Funko, shop our website, kdogandfish.com. We hope you like this new concept. Thank you very much. Please tell us in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Fish. K-Dog. We'll see you again soon. Peace. Welcome back to another episode of the K-Dog and Fish Show. It is a... Well, I didn't introduce myself. That's all right. We got to do what you got to do. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Yeah, they're past it. They know. <laughs>
<laughs> they know. They know. They they're watching it. Kind of a big deal. Yeah. People know me. <laughs> People know me. So this show uh, is a new concept. Yes. This is actually your brainchild. Of course it is. I, why it's amazing. So basically, we asked on Instagram for people to submit topics, like completely random. Correct. And it could be anything. Food, anything. music, sports, movies, Funko, whatever. Go to town. Those topics went into the bowl. The bowl. A.K.A. the fish bowl. Mm. And then we draw a topic. Gotcha. We talk about it for three minutes. And we do three topics. Gotcha. And that's the show. Thursday, threesome. I like it. Boom. I don't see what could go wrong. <laughs> Absolutely everything. So I'm getting some landscaping done. Oh. And <laughs> it's not like, I know you do a lot of projects. I do a lot of projects. I don't really do a ton of projects. And yeah. these are insanely, it's, it snowballs into being too much. Landscaping is the worst. I can't, I can't even put into words how tired and frustrating it is. And I'm not even doing the work. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter. What's your budget? Two hundred dollars. Oh, we can do it for two hundred dollars. Great. What? Where are we at now? About four fifty. That's more than two hundred. Yeah, but not by a lot. Really? Because it seems like double in a bit. No, we're fine. We're almost done. We're almost done. We're already at four fifty. Now you're at six hundred, uh, and it looks like crap, right? Because you're like, well, grass takes a while to grow, so you gotta wait for the grass. You're seeding the stupid crap, and the birds are coming, probably eating all the damn seed. Yeah. You got nothing but. Friggin' topsoil there. It's just, yeah, I hate landscaping. It's a waste of waste time of and time. money. Just asphalt the whole backyard. There you go. That's it. Yeah, like a concrete jungle. Concrete jungle. There you go, kids. Just put on your knee pads before you go out playing in the backyard. I feel like the old lady from Happy Gilmore. Oh, yeah. Well, now your back's going to hurt because yeah. you just pulled landscaping duty. Landscaping duty, duty yeah. So this Thursday threesome show, we're going to do it. Uh, we'll record it and then we'll post it every Thursday. Obviously, we have to. The brains uh, behind the show. Right? Right. Like we post it on Friday. It's not the Thursday threesome. Can't be the Thursday threesome. It's the Friday frenzy. So no matter <laughs> no matter what, we have to record the show before Thursday. The Friday free-for-all. That's a good name. That's a good name right there. I don't even know what that show's about, but I'd watch it. I'd watch it too. What are some of the things in the bowl that you're afraid that we could pull out of the bowl? Oh, oh, there could be Dragon Ball questions. <laughs> Those scare me. Anything Dragon Ball related. Getting you to name Pokemon. Pokemon. Pokemon would be bad. Dragon Ball and Pokemon. Those are my bugaboos. Uh, anything Martha Stewart related. She scares me too. Yeah. So I don't want any of that kind of yeah. stuff going I, on. We there. don't know how we're going to talk about Martha Stewart for three minutes. No, nothing about baseball because I, I don't like I don't. I'm not really a baseball fan. So let's okay. keep it. Baseball to a minimum. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Other than that, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty solid. Let's go. I'm more worried about like the random. Like, the random? We pull it out and it's like cottage cheese. Oh, cottage cheese. Talk I three get, minutes about cottage cheese. Three minutes about cottage cheese. I could, I, could do, I could do 40 minutes on cottage cheese. I love cottage cheese so much. I just scoop it out of the, right out of the package. Should you do cottage. like, are you a uh, cut the melon in half? No, cottage cheese. I'm only guy. kidding. I'm not a cottage. I actually hate cottage cheese and lasagna. I think lasagna should just be meat, cheese, and noodles. I don't know why people would put cottage cheese in you a lasagna. You do not need cottage cheese. I've in seen lasagna. that before. It's gross. But it's supposed to be ricotta. It's gross. If you're making a lasagna yeah. and you're putting cottage in there, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, people do that, right? Ricotta. I've, I've heard of that. Yeah. But no, that's gross. Yeah. No, you do ricotta. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ricotta? Yeah. No. In the middle? I don't even need the ricotta. And then a mozzarella. I just need top. noodles, beef, <laughs> noodles, mozzarella, beef, mozzarella, noodle, yeah. beef, beef, mozzarella, beef, noodle. That's a very layered lasagna. That's it. Maybe some onions in the middle. Okay. Boom. Thinking now back to landscaping. I was actually doing landscaping slash gardening on Sunday. How did that go? Oh, horrible. First of all, black flies everywhere. Yeah, they're pretty bad which right Which is awesome. Now. Yeah. And then all my crap died from last year, which is hilarious. Okay. So I'm out there and Brendan just keeps telling me we got to plant an umbrella tree. And I'm like, I don't know what an umbrella tree is. I don't know what yeah. an umbrella tree is. Umbrella tree. Just get an umbrella tree. It solves everything. I'm like, sure. So I messaged our guy. We got a guy, right? I messaged yeah. our guy. Hey, uh, Brendan, right she wants an umbrella tree. He messaged me back. I don't know what an umbrella tree is. This guy owns a nursery. 
Just like, I don't know what an umbrella tree is. So this doesn't work. He's like, so he, he literally messages me back saying, well, ask her what an umbrella tree is. And I'm like, but she just, every time I ask her what it is, she just says, umbrella tree, you know, an umbrella tree. I'm like, I obviously don't know what an umbrella tree is if I keep asking you what an umbrella tree is. And all you keep doing is yelling umbrella tree at me. Like, I don't know what an umbrella tree is. Stop yelling it at me. So, question. Yeah. Did you ever get an umbrella tree? No, no, we're going to get, uh, uh, we're going to get a cactus. I'm just gonna okay. pl- I'm gonna plant cacti. I don't think Nothing you have but cacti. Desert conditions. I think it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna plant whatever. Obviously, I'm gonna find umbrella trees. You should grab something that looks like an umbrella shape yeah. and go, you meant these, right? Yeah. And then just because she doesn't what? know what it is, go, oh just, yeah. There you go. Well, umbrella tree. Yeah. yeah, there you go. It's really a weeping willow. Umbrella tree. I don't know. Whatever. The other thing that this show reminded me of with the Thursday threesome, yeah. I don't know why, but I always picture Three's Company. Oh, totally. Do you remember that show? Of course I remember that show. Jack Ritter? Ma, Jack, <laughs> he just combined his character with the actor. Jack it's Ritter. John Ritter yeah. and Jack Tripper. Nope. <laughs> You're wrong. Jack Ritter. Jack Ritter. That's who it is. May he rest in peace. Yes. Of course welcome back to another edition of if, why am i saying edition like do you remember the show uh, inside uh, edition inside edition dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and this I on this like. episode pamela anderson topless again <laughs> shocker in a walgreens <laughs> tommy lee's drinking vodka tuesday, right after, tuesday afternoon <laughs> what is going on so when i think about three's company a couple of things come to mind. One were the Ropers. The Ropers, yeah. I also love Mr. Furley. Because Don Knotts is such a weird yeah. dude. Totally. I mean, we're totally dating ourselves here, by yeah. the way. How old we are that we remembered watching Three's Company. It's all right. Uh, but, and then one of the side characters, Larry Dallas. Larry Dallas. Played by actor, and I, I'm going to pull this out of the back of my brain was Richard Klein. Well, I'll have to fact check that later, Played but that's impressive. Larry Dallas, and he was just like always making fun of Jack because he was like the ladies' man, and Jack was stuck with, you know, pretending to be something that he wasn't gotcha. in order to be able to live with the girls. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, yeah, yeah. Just that show was way progressive for. Yeah. Late seventies, early eighties. I wonder if I'm watching that again. I wonder if, where I could find that. I'm probably hold somewhere. up. Yeah, I bet you it holds up for sure. Yeah, maybe some funny pops too. They, you know what? They've never done three company yeah. pops. Jack Tripper. Also, <laughs> not his name. So for the Thursday threesome, we're putting all of the topics submitted by our fans into the fish bowl. Which the K Dog and Fish Bowl. We should put a sticker on it. We should put a sticker on that. Yeah. So I was uh, thought I had an old fish bowl in my house. Right. So I was like, oh, I'll just bring it. Mm-hmm. And I'll, I'll set a reminder on my phone. Again, I'm old. Yeah. So I said that reminder hey, bring the fish bowl. I'm looking in the basement this morning. I can't find it. No fish bowl. No fish bowl. And yeah. I'm like, we're shooting today. And we have to shoot today because the show is called The Thursday Threesome. So it has to be posted on Thursday. So I'm in a little bit of a panic, yeah. and all of course it's the lockdown. There's so many things closed. Yeah, I had to get coffee and milk for us anyway. Yeah, so I couldn't get a fishbowl anywhere. Yeah, and my last ditch effort was like the Dollarama, and because their pet supplies were open. Right, I forgot that right next door there's a pet value. Pet value. Right I walk there. out of the dollar store disappointed, going, "Where am I going to get a fishbowl? Because we have this show that we're doing. Not an essential item." <laughs> <laughs> it's such life. I go into uh they, they have it blocked off, but the table in front of the door yeah. to do curbside orders. Gotcha. Yeah. And I did the pet value. And I'm like, you got a fishbowl? <laughs> you got a fishbowl? And they're like, what kind of uh they're like, sure, what size? And I'm like, like this not the tiniest fishbowl, yeah. but I need I don't need a massive like tank. Yeah. And they're like, how about this one? Here's a 30 gallon. <laughs> <laughs> right. They had a big one. Yeah, with a pump. And I was yeah. like, no, yeah. no, no. I just yeah. and they held this one up and I was like, that's perfect. Yeah. I'll take that. Yeah. And they're like, okay, well, just so you're not like doing it wrong, what kind of fish are you putting in there? Yeah. And I said, none. <laughs> and they're like, what are you using it for? And I'm like, one, that's none of your business. <laughs> Number two, it's a film a YouTube show. <laughs> and they're like, enough said. Yeah. That'll be 20 bucks. Being a little invasive there. What kind of fish? I'm putting a trout in there. Shut up. I should have said something like that. I'm putting in a sea bass. Seriously. <laughs> charge it <laughs> what's it your business yeah, what, what i put what in you there care what i'm putting in what here? is it your concern yeah. Yeah. of what i put i could put yeah a couple of triple birds in there yeah, what I i'm gonna do to. is i'm gonna put ice 
<laughs> Jack Daniels, <laughs> Pepsi, yeah. and a splash of water and a big honking big straw. Big straw. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, a metal sat- straw. That's a Saturday night. There you go. Right? That's yeah. what I'm going to do with this fishbowl. That's fish what I'm bowl. doing with this fishbowl. What bowl. is it your concern what I'm doing with this fishbowl? Yeah, none of your business. <laughs> Just get, ring me up. I'm going to get blotto out of the fishbowl. <laughs> so shut it. <laughs> <laughs>